handsome or rich? Which one will girl prefer? To answer that question, I did the research. Hello. Yes, hello. Hey, I want to do a quick research. So at the scale 1 to 10, how many would you give to the good-looking um, guy, good-looking boy? And how many would you give to the rich boy? All right. Um, in my view, so I would give an 8 for the good-looking man, whereas a uh, rich man or rich boy, I would give them a 10. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for... Kayaknya... 7. 7, okay. Kalau kaya? Kalau kaya, 8. 8. Okay, yeah, thank you, ya. Yeah. After calling and chatting people, I got this data. And using this data, we will go to find out if that handsomeness or richness does really affect the girl's decision to choose men as their couple. In this video, we will use the statistic method of multiple regression analysis to find these several hypotheses. First, we are going to find out if handsomeness affected the change of girl's decision. Secondly, we are going to find out if wealth of a man correlated with the girl's decision. And last, we are going to find out if both handsomeness and richness variables are simultaneously affecting the change of girl's mind of choosing a man. So without further ado, let's jump into it. In this analysis, we are going to use a statistic app called SPSS. Link for download below. At first, let me run the SPSS. At the first glance, this is the SPSS looks like. It seems like very statistician things. After we open this app, we will go to the variable view tab below. Then we input our variable y as the dependent variable and x1 and x2 as the independent variables. We input the label of x1 as the, let's say, handsomeness, and we input the label of x2 as richness. And of course, why, let's say, the girl's decision to accept a man as their couple, or let me make it short as the decision. So, now we have three variables. Let's make the other thing like this, 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 and this unchanged. After input the variables, now we go to the data. We then click this data view, go to the data, which is in this case I'm using Excel. Then we copy this data to the SPSS. We copy it here. Okay, um, good. Now we have three variables, each with their data. Now go to the analyze, go to the regression, because here we are going to use that and then go to the linear. This will pop up after you do so. Then, we input the dependent and independent variables. The dependent variable that we will input is of course the y variable. Then, we input these two variables, x1 and x2, as the independent variables. After doing that, click OK, and we will see the output. This is the output. As I mentioned before, that our purpose now is going to find out first. You are going to find out if handsomeness or X1 affected the change of girl's decision. This will be our first hypothesis. Second, we are going to find out if wealth of a man or richness X2 affected the girl's decision to choose you as her fiancé. <laughs> this is second hypothesis. And the third hypothesis is if both handsomeness and richness variables are simultaneously affecting the change of girl's mind of choosing a man. Now, to find these three hypotheses, whether it's wrong or right, we are going to use some hypothesis testing. First, we are going to use t-test to examine our first and second hypothesis 
and then after that we are going to use f test to examine third hypothesis whether it's right or wrong so let's jump to the t test why we do t test we do t test is simply because we wanted to know if there is a correlation between the independent variables and the dependent variable the way we run the t-test is first we need to know the value of significance of the variable which is we already have from the SPSS before if it is less than 0 0.05 then there must be an interaction between the dependent variable and the independent variables but if the significance value is greater than 0 0.05 it means that the variables don't have interaction between them secondly to assure our test we are going to see if the t value of the variable is greater than t table i will show this t table later on just a couple of minutes later if t value is greater than t table it means that there is correlation between them but if it is less than t table it means that there is no correlation between them so with the data of SPSS before let us determine whether the h1 and h2 is right or wrong the data that we have before is this so let's check first the h1 that stated handsomeness or x1 has a correlation to the girl's decision or why is this hypothesis right or wrong the significance value of x1 or handsomeness is 0.168 and the t value is 1.608 with the formula before let's check if h1 is qualified to become the hypothesis the formula before is if significance level less than 0 0.05 it means there is an interaction the significance level that we have is 0.168 so is this significance level less than 0 0.05 <laughs> of course it is not so it means that the h1 is denied by the t-test to become the hypothesis next to assure that this we can use the table so if the t value is greater than t table it means there is an interaction between them but before we see if it is greater or not we better find the value of t table so how do we find the value of t table the formula of t table is this t equal to a divided by 2 and n minus k minus 1 a is representing the alpha level of the t value which is in here is 0 0.05 the measurement of significance level n is representing the amount of samples that we have in this case we have eight samples and k is representing the amount of independent variables in this case we have two so t equals to 0 0.025 and 8 minus 2 minus 1 which is point which is point 0 0.025 and 5 with this data of point 0 0.025 and 5 we can directly find it on the t-table here's the t-table link for download below so what we need to find out is point 0 0.025 in x-axis and 5 in the y-axis then we get this number of 2.571 in the t-test we need to see if t-table in this 2.571 is greater or less than our t-value if it is greater so it means there is correlation between them but if it is less so it means there is no correlation between the variables so the t value of x1 we got before is 0.745 this is less than 2.571 
Because this is less than our C table, so it means there is no correlation between x1 and y. So the first hypothesis is denied. There is no correlation between handsomeness and girls' decision to pick men as their couple. So how about H2? That stated richness has a correlation with girls' decision. Here we can see the significance level of X2 is 0.002 and the T value is 6.275. Let we see if the significance level is less than 0.05. The significance level of X2 is 0.002, so it is less than 0.05. It means that there is a correlation between richness and girl's decision. To assure this, let we see the t-value of x2. Is it greater than t-table? The t-table that we already calculated before is 2.571. The t-value of x2 is 6.275. So it means that it is greater than the t-value. So, X2 is really having an interaction with the Y or in other words, richness is affecting the girl's decision to choose a man. So, the second hypothesis is accepted. So, how about the third hypothesis that stated both handsomeness and richness variables are simultaneously affecting the change of a girl's mind of choosing a man? To find this out, we are going to use F test. What do we need to find out first is the data of regression significance level. If it is less than 0.05, it means that there is correlation. But if it is not, so there is no correlation. Secondly, we also need the F table and F value. If the F value of this regression is greater than F table, so there is a correlation between them. But if it is not, so there is no correlation between them. So let's find out. First, we know that the significance level of regression is 0.001. We can see it here. It means that this is less than 0.05. So we can conclude that there is a correlation between x1, x2 simultaneously with the y. To assure this, we need to see if the f value is greater than f table or not. But before it, we need to calculate the f table value. The f table value is f equals to k and n minus k. k means amount of independent variable, in this case we have two, and n means amount of samples in this case, we have 8 samples. So the F table is 2 and 8 minus 2 or 2 and 6. This is the F table. As what we do with the T table, we are going also to find the value of 2 and 6 in this F table with the same way. So we get this number, 5.14. This is the F table. The value of the F value of this regression is 34.63. It means that F value is greater than F table because 34 is absolutely greater than 5. So we can conclude that this third hypothesis is accepted, or in other words, there is a correlation between X1 and X2 simultaneously to the Y. So in summary, we have first, there is no strong correlation between X1 and Y. Or in other words, there is no strong correlation between handsomeness and girls' decision to choose a man. Maybe this could be a lot different if I expand my samples. Second, there is a strong correlation between X2 and Y. Or in other words, there is a strong correlation between richness and girl's decision to choose a man. And the third, there is simultaneous correlation between handsomeness and richness to the girl's decision of choosing a man as their couple. 
So with the result, we can say that it is better to increase our wealth rather than our appearance. But since there is simultaneous correlation between those two variables, it is more better to increase both variable to affect your cross decision to choose you. That's for today. Please like and consider to subscribe. See you in other video. Thank you.